What's happening, Internet? It's Mitch Santona from Mitch's Drive Thru, and today we're taking a look at 2024 McDonald's Just Dance. But I'm here to tell you if this set is worth tracking down, is it solid gold or is this a hot steaming pile of caca? So if you go into McDonald's nowadays in 2024, you would get one of, just one of these, not all of them, you get one of the following Just Dance little boxes, and they look like this all lined up, and they look like this from this way, and this is about as exciting as it's going to get, man, all the pretty colors. Let's get one open and start messing about, shall we? So I heard someplace that McDonald's cutting down on the plastic in material they're using for the toys not a lot of cardboard not a lot of paper not a lot of plastic so you know we're going to be environmentally friendly and right out the gates we've got let's see some cards some stickers let's see what all this entails here and extra paper you know for the for the environment this is the extra paper for the environment so let's do that uh and plastic so we didn't get plastic figurines. We didn't get a plastic panda. That's number one in the set. Not a, not a cool-looking panda that could sit on your desk on top of this thing, maybe rock around a little bit, or maybe have some articulation so you could do a little dance move. You know, maybe one of those little springy toys. You could, you could do that. He rocks back and forth. Nah, 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 nah. We're not going to do that. But what we are going to do is still give you plastic, but just make it not as cool or fun. All right, let's check out some of the other cards. We're going to do it real fast here because I just shot, uh, I just went through these. And I'm telling you right now, I mean, it's too much fun. You put your arms up like this, then you go like this, and then you go to the, it's saying, it looks like it's pointing right here. See how, see where it's pointing? It's pointing to the left, to the left. Oops, I think it, I think it pointed right to where we needed to go. Look at this guy, he comes at you. He's coming at you. It's like a West Side Story. Maybe he's going to, you know, maybe he's got a switchblade or something. And then he slides back. See how he slides back and he jumps. He's jumping to the left. Look, look where he's jumping. Oh, right there. What is this mutant? All right, we got a kitty cat. And she goes with the paws this way, the paws that way. Up in the air, hands of the sky, and now she's crying. Oh, my dear, dear, I can't stand it anymore. I'll put you right here. We'll, we'll stay safe right in there. How's that sound? And now I got a moose or a reindeer or something. This dude's got his feet this way, feet that way, jumps up in the air. Where's that land? Hey, wherever it lands, it lands. You know what I'm saying? You got some weird-looking pirate dude climbing the rope, swinging on the rope. He's swashbuckling swashbuckling around, spinning around. Look at the spin. Oh, baby. Oh, let's spin it again. Let's see where it lands. Oh, man. One more spin. Yeah, there you go. And then we got the panda. Put the right arm out and the left arm. You're shuffling that foot, too. Make sure you shuffle that foot, and then you pose. The big the panda pose. Okay, so let me be clear, folks, for those of you first joining me, and maybe the first time you've seen Trash or Treasure, as you can see, I definitely trashed that last toy, or whatever. I don't even know, consider that a toy. Uh, it's nothing against Just Dance. In fact, I've played Just Dance, <laughs> believe it or not. This guy has played Just Dance. It's, my my daughter Peyton's uh, got the game, and we play it. <laughs> she makes me play it with her. She beats my butt, but... Um, we play, you know, and it's a fun game. It's a great game. So a lot of potential here for something cool, but they didn't pull it off. They just failed to pull it off. Instead, we got whatever this is. You get stickers of this one. This is, uh, this guy's name is Knockoff Gumby. Part, this is the second one. And I'll show you here. We got, uh, some little Zorro guy doing some moves. We got, uh, the kitty girl again. The pirate is doing different moves this time. Okay, cool. Reindeer doing the same moves. Knockoff Gumby. He looks like he's goaltending here for uh, the uh, Calgary Flames. And then you got this dude, this little Tony Hawk guy jumping around. I, I, what? What is that? How? Explain how you do that move. I'm curious. What? How does that move done? Just I don't know. See, and then we have a problem because we're all filled up with our little trash can here. And we have a lot more to go. I mean, this is only the second one in the set. So what I like to do here is when we're out of room here, I bring in the big dumpster. Now we can 
open this up and get this filled up properly. Just like that. The third pile of toys is Lalama. And you do pronounce both L's in this, just so you know. That's a, it's actually factual. Uh, he, he does pronounce both of them, L Lalama. So this is what he looks like. You give him a little spin, and we'll look at his cards. Here's his stickers if you're interested in that. I'm totally interested in that. Um, and we got, all right, we got the uh, we got the little Zorro guy. He's, he's back and forth in it here. Who's this? New new one here. I've never seen her. She's got some moves there. Liking this guy. I always like T-Rexes, man. I'm a dinosaur freak. I'm a freak show for the dinosaurs. What's this? A poodle? This a human poodle? Some sort of a mutant. Weird, man. It's a kangaroo dude. And what do we got here? And this is La Llama doing his La Llama dance. All right. Let's just get all this stuff right in here. Make sure we don't, you know, we needed the extra paper because you know, it's good for the environment. Entries. Number four in the set is Dougie. And I think Dougie is a poodle. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. He's like a pink poodle human, uh, half animal, half man. I, it's like the show Manimal. Google that. The show Manimal. Oh my word, was that a phenomenal show back in the 80s? Oh man. If you don't own, a, you know, a a VCR or a VHS tape of Manimal. I don't know what to say. Check him out, man. He's got the, the triple fat goose, goose down on, a nice, beautiful coat. Got a hair pick in there. He's got some, he's got a cool, look, he's got a little afro. I like that. I like these stickers. That's a good one here. Yeah, man. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see the dance moves here. Yeah, go ahead. Do a side splits in the McDonald's. You know, you're, you're dancing around next to some, an old couple that's just trying to enjoy their 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 French fries and Coca Cola, and you just just kick right out, man, like a like a like one of those rockets, rocket kick right at their soda, you know, right in the restaurant. That's that's how you do this. That's when you do this. That's how this is done. And alas, we're running out of room in the garbage dumpster. I think we might have to just upgrade a little bit more. All right, guys, the Trash or Treasure patented garbage truck has arrived to take away some of this so we can get it out of the way for more stuff to be reviewed. Uh, as you know, it has got comes equipped with the fork pockets here. You could just, you got to make sure you always make sure you start it up, get the lights going, get the engine revving, get the sounds going, you know, do a little beep beep, make sure everything's out of the way, and then you can do the thing that it's meant to do. Ready? Here we go. Come on, baby. All right, next up we have Malu, and Malu comes in a yellow plastic uh, spinner thing there, and then we've got the panda card. We got the Malu card bouncing around like a kangaroo. We got the poodle dude. We got the girl that's just uh, in different, mood, different moods there. We'll put her there. Again, with the weird hand arrow. I don't know what to do with that. And this guy here is uh, doing something. I don't know what he's doing there, but this doesn't look good. That's why this is not made for kids. Stuff that right in there. All right. Last up, we got Boogie Saurus. And I got to say, if there's anyone that I'm going to save from the trash, it would be Boogie Saurus. Only because of his name. I mean, look at this thing, man. Look at beautiful. Just a beautiful T-Rex. Got a vest. Looks like he's got braces on. Got an Elvis haircut. I'm liking this one. See, look. This is all paper box. It's all recyclable. And, you know, I should be using the recycled bin. I don't know if I can smoosh this in here without destroying it. So, we'll see. I don't know. I might save Boogiesaurus or we might just throw him out. So, let's see. We've got uh, Boogiesaurus has a couple of different outfits. Very nice. Very nice looking here. Here we go with the Zorro guy again doing his moves. We got uh, the kitty, little kitty cat doing the thing. We got the pirate guy getting real fancy here. Tons of swashbuckling that time. And then we got the little reindeer. All the reindeer seems to do is just move his feet around back and forth. We got another knockoff Gumby. This might actually be Gumby because he's green. So I don't know. And then Boogiesaurus getting down. Getting down, baby. I love that Boogiesaurus. And of course, you know, extra paper for, you know, 
for everybody's fun. And you put that on there. This guy's like, I got a little purple base. And I think it's going to wrap this up. That's going to do it for me, folks. It's 2024 is McDonald's Just Dance. Uh, you could see how this review went. I'm a big fan of Just Dance. I got to I gotta admit, like, the, the game is amazing. It's very excellent. And I would have liked to have had some little figurines that have maybe, like, a little QR code or something on the, on the bottom of it so that... Uh, you know, you could make, you could keep these and have some little keepsakes, make them dance around your tabletop, maybe a little wind-up toy or something would have been awesome. You flip it over, QR code unlocks a special song, maybe a little McDonald's dance or something. Really would have been awesome. But instead, they went this route. And here's what you do when you have toys such as this. You start your engines, 